Hello dear students, how are you? Today we are going to continue with document 4, Cells of the Immune System. Uh, as usual, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, for all students who ask about uh, how to watch all videos related to their classes, you have to go to playlists and you find your class, for example, grade 12, grade 11, grade 10, and you find your video that you need. Not all videos are recorded yet. Okay, as you know, uh, let's continue. Uh, in the previous video, I explained uh, that the cells of the immune system are found in the blood and on all body liquids. And we said uh, we have many types of uh, white blood cells of the immune cells. And the main source of white blood cells is the bone marrow. Inside the bone marrow, we have cells called pluripotent stem cells. Yani for example, this is a bone marrow, okay, inside the bone marrow here we have cells. These cells are continuously dividing. They might be in ismo, they divide by mitosis. These cells are called the pluripotent stem cells. Stem cells. Stem cells are cells that don't have any function. But they have the ability to change into new cells with a new function, or they acquire a function and a certain structure. يعني هن خلايا ما لهم شك ما لهم وظيفه ما لهم شيء بس بيتكاثروا هود الخلايا عندهم القدره انه يتحولوا لخلايا ثانيين عندهم وظيفه وعندهم شكل طيب these pluripotent stem cells how the pluripotent stem cells may change into lymphoid stem cell or myeloid stem cell inside the bone marrow okay some of them change into lymphoid stem cell some of them change into myeloid stem cell and the other part continue making mitosis the myoclas okay the myeloid stem cell produce many types of cells such as red blood cells and some white blood cells and lymphoid stem cells produce or produces the other types of white blood cells let's start with the cells derived from myeloid stem cells stem cells the first type of cells came from uh, myeloid stem cells is called granulocytes granulocytes and the second one is called the monocytes and the third one is called mast cells myeloid stem cells in addition to red blood cells platelets whatever however the cells which are derived from lymphoid stem cell are called lymphocytes lymphocytes are cells derived جايين من lymphoid stem cell طبعا حسب حاجة الجسم وحسب حاجة جهاز المناعة بيعمل production لهودي cells يعني lymphoid stem cell بتتحول للمفوسايت الميلويد stem cell أو بتتحول لجرانيولوسايت أو لمونوسايت أو لا ماست سيل او لا ريد بلاد سيل طبعا هيدي في منها ثاوزندز وهيدي في منها ثاوزندز سو ذي ار كونتينيوسلي ديفايدنج اوكي بس تما نضيع راسنا بهذا الموضوع نحن بنهتم اكثر بالتايبس اوف سيلز اوف ذا اميون سيستم اوكي فيرست اوف اول ليتس ستارت وذ ذا جرانيولو سايتس جرانيولو سايتس من اسمهم سايتس مين سيلز جرانيولو مينز جرانيولز جرانيولز حبيبات بالعربي يعني مثلا فور اكزامبل اذا بتجيب معجون اسنان وبتفتحه بتلاقي في بقلبه جرانيولز مثل حبيبات صغيره. These cells have a multi-lobed nucleus. What's the meaning of multi-lobed nucleus? نواة متعددة القطع يعني many lobes, many rooms, many places. Okay, like this. This is a multi-lobed nucleus. Nuat mutaddidat al-qata. Okay, they are or they have granules inside them. Granules within each cell. Okay, so they are granulocytes because they have granules and they are or they have multi-lobed nucleus, multi-lobed nucleus, or polymorphic nucleus. Polymorphic. Poly means many. Morphic ashkal. Nuat mutaddidat al qutta or mutaddidat al ashkal. That's why these cells are called polynuclears. Khalaya that nuat al mutaddidat al qutta. Yani cell with a nucleus containing many fragments inside it. Okay, they have granules in the cytoplasm. So these cells are classified into three types. 
granulocytes are classified into three types according to the type of granules some of them how the granules show in the granules in the hubeibat hubeibat yani they contain chemical substances according to the nature of chemical substances we classify these granulocytes if the chemical substance inside the granulocyte is base these cells are said to be basophils we call them basophils okay is a can hidden granules in neutral neither acid nor base they are called neutrophils and if uh, the granules inside each granulocyte has acid or have they have acidic substances they are called acidophils our is been موجود بكتاب كون eosinophils so we have three types of granulo Uh, sites according to nature of chemical substances of the granules the neutrophils basophils and the eosinophils these cells have size from 10 to 12 micrometer in diameter 10 to power minus times 10 to power minus 6 meter okay من نكبرهم مليون مره يصيروا متر they don't have antigen receptors on their surfaces يعني they don't bind to antigens ما في له شيء يلقط على الانتيجين اوكي okay. يعني ما بيشوفوا البكتيريا بيلقطوا عليها they don't have antigen receptors كيف يلقطوا عليها يعني specifically like key and lock مثل المفتاح والقفل these cells which are uh, polynuclears they have many functions according to the type of each cell the first one the basophil the basophil plays a role in allergic reactions مسؤول عن الحساسية بما انه الالرجي مش مطلوبة for this year we are not going to explain it The second type of uh, granulocytes is called the neutrophil. The role of a neutrophil is phagocytosis. Phagocytosis. عملية البلع. This is a phagocytosis. Okay? هيدي خلية عم تبلع بكتيريا. Phagocytosis. Phago means swallowing. Cytosis cells. It's a process by which immune cells swallow other cells like bacteria. اوكي okay. يعني وظيفتهم يبلعوا البكتيريا باي بروسس كولد فاجوسايتوسيس اند ديستراكشن اوف بكتيريا طبعا بيبلعوها بيهضموها وبفتتوها للبكتيريا وبدمروها وبحطوا جزء منها على الاتش ال اي كلاس 2 تو بي انتيجين بريزنتينج سيل لاسباب حنعرفها بعدين ذا ثيرد تايب از يازينوفيل يازينوفيل دي بلاي ا رول ان فاجوسايتوسيس بات اوف اميون كومبلكسز حنحكي بعدين شو يعني اميون كومبلكسز يعني دي هاف ا رول ان فاجوسايتوسيس او دي بلاي ا رول ان فاجوسايتوسيس Okay, for example, how the two cells granulocytes they are responsible for phagocytosis. عملية البلع. طيب, these granulocytes are called non-specific immune cells. Non-specific, they attack randomly, without depending on the intruder's identity. يعني هن ما بيعرفوا من عم بيقتلوا. انتحاريين نحن من قلهم. How the cells they attack the bacteria, and they make phagocytosis. مش بس البكتيريا الانتيجينز الفيروسز الاميون كومبلكسز وات ايفر كل شيء نون سيلف ذي اتاك ات اند ذي انجلف ات نون سبيسيفيكلي يعني من دون ما يعرفوا شو هويته فيروس بكتيريا وات ايفر وشو نوعه ذي دونت بايند تو ات مباشره ذي فاجو سايت ات اوكي ذا سكند تايب اوف سيلز از كولد مونوسايت مونوسايتس ار لارج سيلز لارج اوف ذان جرانيوسايتس شوي كمان they came from myeloid stem cells or they come from myeloid stem cells they have a mul- a horseshoe shaped nucleus horseshoe okay الحديد اللي بدقوها بإجر الحصان تجي U shape بدقوا له هي بإجره نفس الشكل they have a horseshoe shaped nucleus يعني شكل النيوكليس اللي لهم like horseshoe okay their name is monocyte they are found in blood Okay. طيب. How the monocyte? They are traveling in the blood. This is blood, and here we have monocyte inside the blood. طيب. إذا نحنا نجرحنا. For example, if you get injury, this is the skin. هاي ده الجلد هون. If you get injury, شو بصير? Bacteria with foot. Simply, this is a bacterium. Okay. What happens? The granules. Sorry, the monocytes. They have the ability to cross through the blood vessels. بيفتحوا الوعاء الدموي وبيطلعوا منه. They cross the capillary, the blood vessel, to the site of bacteria. هلا مين بيبعت وراهن؟ هيدا شيء بنحكي عنه بالنكست تشابتر. 
Monocytes migrate from blood to the tissue to the infected tissue. Once they migrate, مجرد ما يطلعوا, they cross the capillary wall, the blood vessel wall to the tissue, they change into cell called macrophage. الخلية البالعة. Okay, macrophage. They change into macrophage. هلا حدا بيسأل شو الفرق بين الماكروفاج والمونوسايت؟ بتعمل شوية تحولات بقلبها، بصير في بقلبها مجموعة انزيمز. هون مثل نقاط صغيرة غير الجرانيولز تعول الجرانيولوسايت. نقاط صغيرة اسمه اللايزوزومز انزيمز بتستعملهم. اوكي؟ هي إلى آه They attack the bacteria and they make process of phagocytosis. Like neutrophils, neosinophil. بيعملوا phagocytosis بيبلعوا البكتيريا. بيفرزوا عليها الانزيمز وبيهضموها وبفتتوها. These cells also are non-specific. They are non-specific because they don't depend on the intruder's identity. They attack it quickly without recognizing the cell that they attack. Okay, من دون ما يعرفوا هن شو عم بيهاجموا. Now let's move to the lymphoid stem cell. The lymphoid stem cell, okay, produces one type of cells called lymphocytes. الخلايا اللمفاوية. Lymphocytes in general have a round nucleus. أول شيء هن عندهم round nucleus. They are small in size. أصغر من المونوسايت والجرانيولوسايت. الم... Lymphocytes uh, these cells are very very important cells. Their nucleus occupy three over four of the cell. ثلاث ارباع مساحة الخلية هي nucleus. Okay. We have two types of lymphocytes. One type of lymphocyte is called B lymphocyte. We'll see why it's called B later. And the second type of T lymphocyte of lymphocytes is called T lymphocytes. Okay, so we have two types of lymphocytes. These cells are called B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. These cells are not distinguished under the microscope. Ma fi ni mayezun yani taht al microscope ma fi ya abe fil B lymphocyte min T lymphocyte. Na inatun mitl baadun. For example, this is a lymphocyte, but I don't know if it is B or T. طب how to distinguish between B and T lymphocytes according to the molecules on their surfaces على سطح ال B أو T lymphocytes في molecules مركبات معينة مش antigens غير ال antigens غير هن خلايا جهاز مناعي غير ال H L A they have receptors they have antigen receptors يعني شيء بيلقطوا فيه على antigen so these cells are specific cells يعني بيعرفوا حالهم مين عم بيقتلوا. According to their receptors, we classify them into B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. So, what are the differences between each of these cells? What are the characteristics of B lymphocytes? What are the characteristics of T lymphocytes? And what are the different types of T lymphocytes? We are going to explain this in the next video. Okay? But you have to recognize that these cells are specific cells, unlike monocyte and the granulocyte. These cells, منو الخلايا انتحارية خلايا بيعرفوا الدخيل من هو وبيبعتوا له فرقة خاصة ليقتلو. بينما المونوسايت والجرانيولوسايت هن non-specific, attack quickly. How the cells, in order to start, يعني زفت بكتيريا على الجسم ليهجموها, they need they need one to two weeks. However, monocyte and granulocyte, in order to attack, they need minutes to hours to start their uh, attack, their immune response. Okay, so they make here these cells make a specific immune response. The بتطلعوا فيهم هاو ده ال B lymphocyte with T lymphocytes. Okay, how the cells بيعملوا specific immune response. بيعرفوا هاوية الدخيل بيعرفوا مين عم بيهاجمو وبيقتلو. In the next video, inshallah, we are going to explain the characteristics specifically of BL. وإذا لحقنا منكمل بالـ TL إن شاء الله لأنه نهو دي السالز اللي بيفهمون مزبوط بيفهم كل الأشياء اللي جاي من بعضهم لأنه هن تقريبا most important ideas بالإيمينولوجي وكل دورات الامتحان الرسمي بتتركز عليهم للـ B lymphocyte والـ T lymphocyte لأنه هن أساس الإميون response see you in the next video inshallah don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to like the page on facebook uh, life science simple guide okay you find everything related to uh, this guide see you